fooled me once. Shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. Had investors heeded these wise words, they would have saved a lot of money. Perhaps the biggest profile fraud from the SPAC era was Nikola Motors. Once valued at over $30 billion, Nikola's share price collapsed after it was exposed that their hydrogen truck didn't work, and was instead rolling down a hill with the camera tilted sideways. Nikola's investors lost billions of dollars, and the company's founder, Trevor Milton, is currently serving a four-year prison sentence for securities fraud. In July of 2021, almost a year after Nikola's fraud was exposed, another hydrogen truck company called Hyzon Motors went public by merging with a SPAC at a $2.7 billion valuation. It appears that Hyzon learned a lot from Nikola because they conducted a fraud in a very similar manner. Just like how Nikola published a fake video of a truck rolling down a hill, Hyzon proudly published a video of a hydrogen milk truck which was not actually powered by hydrogen. As their respective frauds were exposed, both Nikola and Hyzon's share prices have fallen by more than 90%. Both companies have been charged with securities fraud and are both on the brink of bankruptcy. In this video, we'll look at the rise and fall of Hyzon Motors and try to figure out why investors were fooled by two hydrogen truck frauds in a row. This video was made possible by our good friends over at Bespoke Post. If you haven't heard of Bespoke Post, it's a monthly membership club where they send you a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. 90% of their products come from small brands that you probably wouldn't have found otherwise, and many of which are based right here in the US. Every month, they introduce their members to cool new products. They've got awesome clothes, cool stuff for your house, camping and cooking gear, basically just high quality stuff in every category. You just take a short quiz when you sign up and tell them what you're into. Here they just sent me the flame box, which has this miniature indoor fireplace. It's super sturdy, and nothing looks cooler than an open flame on the dinner table. I also got the al fresco box, which includes a wine cooler and a set of bowls. These are heavy metal balls where you compete with a friend to throw the ball as close as possible to the jack. Bulls dates back to the ancient Greeks, and I probably would have never heard of it had it not been for Bespoke Post. They now offer a new membership program where you can get really great deals all year round. I'm talking like 30% off or more sometimes, and it's totally free to join. Each month, they'll create a personalized shipment of great products that you'll love. They give you a preview of your box before it's shipped. You can decide to either keep it, swap out the products, or skip that month for no charge. There's no commitment and you never have to buy anything you don't want. To get a free mystery gift with your first membership purchase, click the link in the description and enter WSM gift at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash WSM gift. And now back to the video. Hyzon Motors was created by a Singaporean company called Horizon Fuel Cell Technologies, which makes hydrogen fuel cells for power plants, trains, and trucks. In 2020, they spun off their hydrogen truck segment into an independent company called Hyzon Motors. In February of 2021, Hyzon announced it would be merging with a SPAC called Decarbonization Plus Acquisition Corp in a deal valued at $2.7 billion. Shareholders of the SPAC can vote against the deal, and even if the deal is approved, they can redeem their shares and withdraw before the transaction closes. Thus, Hyzon needed to paint a rosy picture to convince the SPAC's investors to buy in. So in February of 2021, they released a SPAC presentation. While Hyzon had not yet generated any revenue, they claimed they were on the verge of ramping up vehicle deliveries quickly. They had a strong and growing backlog of customer orders, which supported their aggressive revenue targets. So who were these customers interested in buying Hyzon's trucks? The presentation included a map showing orders and potential orders from Fortune 500 and well-known customers around the world. $40 million worth of orders were 100% certain to happen. They had another $110 million of high probability orders, which are more than 70% likely to happen. One of their customers was a beer maker Heineken, with whom they were in the process of finalizing a purchase order for 5 hydrogen trucks for $2 million. Hyzon indeed had some discussions with Heineken, but Heineken informed Hyzon that they didn't have any room in their 2021 budget to purchase any vehicles. So the probability of Hyzon generating any revenue from Heineken in 2021 was 0%. Despite knowing this, Hyzon listed Heineken as a high probability customer for 2021. For most of their potential customers, they had only had preliminary discussions and the customers gave no indication that they intended to order any of their vehicles. Shortly after the publication of this SPAC presentation, some of the companies contacted Hyzon, saying they did not consent to having their logos appear on the presentation. So in April, Hyzon released a new presentation, which instead gave generic names like leading retailer and large trucking operator. But they did not change their revenue projections or stated backlog. 
they still included Heineken as a high probability customer, calling them a global brewer. Long story short, their backlog and revenue projections were fantasies with no grounds in reality. Hyzon's original plan was to sell their hydrogen trucks mostly in Europe. In 2020, they created a joint venture with a Dutch company called Holthausen Clean Technologies, or HCT. HCT had previously retrofitted existing diesel vehicles to run on hydrogen. HCT was run by its CEO, Max Holthausen, who was only 21 years old at the time. Max is presumably the son of Carl Holthausen, who lists himself as a technical officer at the company. If his father owns the company, that would explain how Max became CEO at the age of 21. On July 13th, 2021, just two days before the SPAC investors voted to approve the merger, Hyzon published a video showing the first delivery of a hydrogen truck to a customer. The customer was a Dutch milk company, and they were using the hydrogen truck to transport milk. The problem is, it wasn't a hydrogen truck. It was powered solely by an electric battery and had limited range, far less than the claimed 550 kilometers. Despite claiming to be a leader in hydrogen fuel cell technology, by the time they went public, they couldn't even make a hydrogen milk truck. The fraudulent backlog and milk truck video allowed Hyzon to secure the necessary shareholder vote and they went public raising $600 million. In their SPAC presentation, Hyzon projected they would sell 85 vehicles in 2021. But their original plan of selling these vehicles in Europe wasn't working. Most prospective customers were reluctant to make any orders. It's hard to convince people to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a hydrogen truck when all you've delivered so far is a fake milk truck that can't even run on hydrogen. With their business in Europe not working out, Hyzon decided to turn their attention to China instead. In September of 2021, they announced that they had signed a non-binding memorandum of understanding to sell up to 500 hydrogen trucks to a Chinese company called Shanghai Hydrogen Hong Yun Automotive. Hong Yun is a special purpose entity with an opaque ownership structure. Presumably, it's a middleman that will deliver the trucks to end customers. By the end of 2021, Hyzon claimed they had delivered 87, slightly above their previous guidance. Five of these trucks were delivered to customers in Europe, with the remaining 82 being delivered to customers in China. Beating their production guidance was a huge accomplishment. CEO Craig Knight bragged, quote, In spite of widely recognized disruptions throughout the global supply chain, we delivered 87 fuel cell electric vehicles, with heavy and medium duty trucks now being validated in real world operations, unquote. While this sounded great, there is one big problem. Remember how their milk truck was unable to run on hydrogen fuel? It turns out that most of the trucks delivered in China were in a similar condition. In the summer of 2022, Hyzon's board of directors received information that there might have been issues with some vehicle deliveries. They set up a special investigative committee, which found that the majority of the trucks delivered to their customers in China were not operable on hydrogen. Basically, they didn't work. In late 2021, Hyzon was having difficulty finishing the fuel cells and associated equipment necessary to make the trucks operate on hydrogen. They knew they'd missed their guidance. This would be disastrous for their share price, so they asked their Chinese customers to take delivery of the incomplete vehicles in 2021 so that they could recognize the associated revenue. But Hyzon told the customers they could return the vehicles after year-end so that Hyzon could finish them. The situation in Europe wasn't much better. Prior to forming the joint venture with Hyzon, Max Holthausen's company HCT had signed contracts to retrofit five internal combustion engine vehicles with hydrogen fuel cells. Hyzon reported these as deliveries when in reality they were not. Once all of this was exposed, Hyzon was forced to restate its 2021 financial results. Almost all of their 2021 revenue was improperly recognized. After the restatement, their revenue number decreased from $6 million to negative 80000 They gave stock warrants to one of their Chinese customers to entice them into placing orders. The value of these warrants are recognized as reduction in revenue. Because they had almost no revenue in 2021, when you subtract the warrants, the total is negative. According to the SEC, the fraud was mostly masterminded by Hyzon CEO Craig Knight and Max Holthausen, who ran the European joint venture. Many of Hyzon's other executives were kept in the dark. For example, following the publication of the milk truck video, rumors started to appear on the internet saying the truck was not powered by hydrogen. An unidentified Hyzon executive asked Max Holthausen whether these rumors were true. Holthausen assured him the truck was indeed powered by hydrogen, even as he knew this was not true. The company, especially its European joint venture run by Max Holthausen, maintained a workplace culture where employees did not feel comfortable raising concerns. This allowed them to pull off ridiculous stunts like the fake milk truck. Employees were too scared to expose this deception, as they likely feared retaliation from the company. When these issues were exposed in the summer of 2022, Hyzon's board of directors attempted to clean up the company by firing CEO Craig Knight. 
they replaced him with Parker Meeks, who previously served as Hyzon's chief strategy officer. Given how disastrously the company was managed, it's a bit surprising that they chose a new CEO internally. Perhaps no external candidates were willing to take the job. So far, the results under the new CEO have been underwhelming. In the first 9 months of 2023, they generated zero revenue. They claim to have run a few successful trials with customers throughout the year, and will begin to recognize revenue in the fourth quarter. In what I can only describe as an act of desperation, Hyzon announced a collaboration with another SPAC company called Helion in May of 2023. They were going to collaborate to make hydrogen trucks. Helion would provide the electric drivetrains, while Hyzon would provide the hydrogen fuel cells. The reason I call this an act of desperation is because Hylion is a dumpster fire in its own right. We made a video about them on our second channel, Broken Business Models, linked in the description below. Regardless, it's a moot point now. A few months after announcing the partnership with Hyzon, Hylion conducted a strategic review and exited the truck business. Presumably, this put an end to their partnership. The surprising part of the story is not that Hyzon was a fraud. SPAC companies get exposed as frauds all the time. What is surprising is the shocking similarities between Hyzon's fraud and Nikola's fraud, which was exposed less than a year prior. Just like Nikola, Hyzon promised to revolutionize the transportation industry with the hydrogen truck which ended up being fake. If anything, Hyzon had even more red flags than Nikola, because their main customer was a special purpose entity in China with opaque ownership. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. What do you think about Hyzon? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.